Hi, my name is Jeff Kappas. I'm with Carliner. We're going to show you how to install the wire into our 273 welder. Uh, the, it does require a spool with a two inch spindle. What we want to do is we want to put it in, make sure the wire is coming off the bottom of the spool, and we want to align our brake. So, let's set that up. Now, I just need to feed it through the wire feed tube. Okay, once I have it fed through the front, I'm gonna go ahead and engage the fuse wheels. Now I wanna have about eight to 10 inches sticking out the front. I'm just gonna go ahead and straighten it out a little bit. And I wanna have a nice clean cut to start. I don't want any sharp edges as it goes through. So I'm gonna cut about halfway through, turn it 90 degrees and cut the rest of the way through. With the softer wires, aluminum and silicon bronze, we use a softer liner, uh, such as Teflon or plastic, and we don't want that hard edge damaging our liner. Even though it's a steel, it's Teflon lined steel, we can still damage the inner portion of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this into the wire liner. Tighten it onto the front. I've removed the contact tip and the tip adapter. I'm gonna stretch the torch out so it's straight, no place else for it to catch. And then in my wire feed compartment here, I'm gonna press the wire feed button. This will start inching the wire. While I'm holding this wire, I can turn the main knob and actually increase the speed. With the softer wires, you can actually start the wire once it's in the first two uh, wire feeds. But with the soft wires, as we said, we don't want to damage it. So by bringing it out the front and manually inserting it into the, the liner itself, we know we have a nice smooth start. So once I've advanced it to the end of the torch, I can then put my contact tip back on um, and I'm ready to start welding.